Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Prime uh, Beast Hunters uh, Cyberverse Commander Class Trail Cutter. As you can see, his alternate mode is, of course, a heavily armored pickup truck. And to be honest, I absolutely like this alt mode. It is amazing. It's heavily armored uh, with some questionable details on this uh, figure, which we'll get to in a little bit. But uh, yeah, so his primary colors mostly are black, does have some yellow, does have some baby blue, or sparkly blue on the on the windows, the windshield, the headlights. No painted taillights. Uh, oh well. Uh, I wish they were red. Uh, does have some red and silver. So great, yeah, overall pretty cool looking figure. Um, so yeah, uh, he does come with an accessory and that's on his hood. It can be placed anywhere on the sides or on the hood, but the hood's a little tricky to do, so. Um, he does come with the, the Howler Missile Launcher. We'll just take that, uh, just pop that off his hood. Now, obviously Trail Cutter is meant to be uh, an homage to uh, G1 Trail Breaker. And I kind of like this. It's pretty cool. I hope we do see him in the show. Um, so yeah, the Howler Missile Launcher, again, much like uh, Hardshell and with a bunch of the other guys, he does come with a pressure launcher missile, just push back on the, push on the back of the weapon. And yeah, it turns out to be an epic fail. See, Hasbro, if you're watching this video, like, seriously, that's, that's why you need to have springs in your missiles. Like, I understand you want the pressure launchers over the springs for to cut costs, but if you have the springs in, it will make things go farther. So, something to look forward to in the future. So, let it be known. So, that's my little lecture right there. Um, so, yeah, Trail Cutter, pretty cool figure. Um... He, now, obviously, the accessories, he comes with these two. Uh, on him, he has this big, honking, snowplow, cow catcher kind of setup. Well, it's not really a snowplow. It's more of a, a brush guard or a or cow catcher or whatever. These two uh, cannons on the hood. And then he has these wings on the top of the truck. Like, what? Like, is he supposed to fly? Like, is it, making, is it to make him more aerodynamic, go faster, like, fly when he feels like it? Like, like imagine, you see this truck in real life, and you see him just fly, like, just one day just take off into the sky. Like, come on! Like, shouldn't these, I just wish these wings were just, 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 I just wish that you, there would be a way to store the wings. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyways, uh, overall tra trail cutter is not bad, but other than that, I, I just don't get why they have the wings on, but anyways, transformation is pretty cool, pretty satisfying, not too hard, not too simple, pretty satisfying. So the first thing you want to do is when it comes to the back here, and you want to fold it, fold it down like that, and you want to split it like that, come to the back of the truck. And you want to fold the sides open. And if you want, you could store something in there if you want. Fold these down to become the feet. And there's the lower half complete. Next, split the sides of the truck like that. Fold it down. Like so. Take the front, uh, actually, fold up the headlights and the cannons back. Fold down the, fold down the arms like like so or actually not yet you want to rotate this around to become the waist and then you want to fold them down so you kinda of don't have an option with that and then fold around the uh, fold around the the tips of the truck to become wrist guards or whatever and then just fold down the the cannons like that. And there you have Trail Cutter in robot mode. Pretty awesome robot mode. Pretty, pretty epic. Um, 
Uh, now, obviously, uh, he's meant to be a repaint slash extensive retool of Cyberverse Commander Class Ironhide from from uh, the previous wave. <laughs> so yeah, um, articulation wise, his head does not rotate. His arms uh, will go all the way. They will go all the way. They will go all the way around. Oh, I forgot to show. You. Sorry about that. I forgot to. Show you that the wheels have to be folded back during transformation, but that's up to you. So anyways, arms can rotate out to the side. They can bend the elbow, they can rotate. That's it. Um, he... He has no waist through the transformation, but obviously he... Has waist through the transformation, you know what I mean. Anyways, legs go forward back. Out to the side, bend the knee. Uh, they can rotate at the hip joint, and the feet are posable. Uh, at the two joints. His face, pretty cool, uh, very cartoony I, th I find with the you know the split visor. So his weapons in robot mode obviously he does have the shoulder cannons from from truck mode and he also has his his howler missile launcher that you can either put on his arm or on his hand. So that I find is pretty cool. Anyways overall will I recommend getting the trail cutter here? You, honestly, if you have a choice, if you had a choice between this guy and Hardshell, I would strongly suggest you get Trail Cutter because Trail Cutter overall is amazing. Like, this is a figure you won't be disappointed by in any way, shape, or form. His transformation is solid and satisfying, and overall, he's just terrific. And he does have a Autobot symbol, a tiny one, right on the front of the, on his chest. So that is pretty cool. So yeah, pretty cool. I really love the nice little homages to Trailbreaker with the nice little three, nice little reflector piece right on the top. And yeah, overall, I just really find it's it's just amazing. So overall, I would strongly recommend you get this guy. Very highly recommended. So anyways, that's my video review of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Cyberverse Commander Class Trail Cutter. I will see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible in my next video. And yes, yeah, so take care. See you soon. Have a great day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.